Ooh, that was kind of nice. Welcome everyone, this is Dom, and this is another episode of Kerbal Realism. Today, we are starting on the launch pad with a manned rocket, as you can tell from the nose right there. Um, just before dawn, the sun is just peeking over the horizon, and we can see Minmus, actually. It's pretty interesting. I thought that was uh, quite a fun little thing. I don't know if we can get... I don't think we can get it targeted. Anyways, let's turn off the HUD there. Or turn on the HUD there. So we are going to go ahead and launch this thing up. We are going to the moon today. That's probably the uh, the name of the video gave it away. but And maybe the thumbnail, but yeah. <laughs> let's go. So this rocket has... Uh, I think it was just about... Uh, 8,000 or 8,600 meters per second of delta V. Uh, it's very fairly efficient rocket when it comes to uh, liftoff and such. Uh, right now, as you can tell, our delta V is actually staying constant. Uh, so as we rise through the atmosphere, it's at 70, about 7,200 meters per second. Uh, we will be increasing our delta V. Uh, we will lose the side tanks automatically, uh, and then another set will automatically fall off as well. Uh, and we will lose this fairing up here, uh, which is more like an interstage kind of fairing, but it's because uh, Jeb is sitting up on top. So what are we doing on the moon? Uh, we have a contract that we're trying to fulfill. Uh, it's going to be our first moon landing with a manned uh, uh, system to uh, collect surface samples and such. The uh, main purpose is to get as much science along the way as well. I'm actually going really, really fast. I don't know if I really want to go this fast. I also didn't put parachutes or anything on the stages because they're relatively cheap. They're like five grand or something like that. Uh, if that I would have recovered. They're not very, they're not really useful to me to keep. So I'm slowly pitching over here and I was going a little bit too fast, but now I should be okay. I might have sa uh, basically sacrificed a little bit of fuel uh, with wind resistance there. But we have plenty for this trip. I have tested this a few times, um, but I recently made changes to it and I haven't tested it since. I've actually designed this rocket, I think, two weeks ago. There's a the sun. Uh, two weeks ago. And uh, that was quite an endeavor, truthfully. Uh, just to make it so it was relatively inexpensive uh, and have, had everything I wanted. On the ship, there's actually no science equipment. Uh, most of the science we'll be getting is actually from the contract itself and because we're going to the surface and collecting surface samples and such. Uh, so that's one of the, uh, the main reasons uh, why we're going is for science and a lot of money too. We have just about uh, nine grand, there it goes, 900,000. Monies. There's goes that automatic staging. I love that look. Um, let's jump into prograde here. And hopefully, I can get my uh, altitude. Actually, you know, I, I'm going off the horizon just slightly here. I'm gonna try to pull ourselves more towards the equator. Really convenient that uh, <laughs> Kerbal Space Center is on the equator here getting these kinds of launches right and cool and my Apple apps is growing ever so slightly I'm actually gonna do all this by hand all of the uh, maneuvers here I've been using the you know uh, built-in prograde retrograde uh, vector stuff recently but I am kind of straying away from that for this episode there we go now I can go prograde because my Apple apps is quite high and I probably could have done that more efficiently. Uh, I'm going to jettison these outside, uh, these fairings here, very, very soon. Uh, mostly what's in there is just landing legs, and I just felt like putting the fairy on because it's fun. It probably was more fuel efficient not to, but eh, who cares. We are going to try to burn as best as we can uh, to get round out our orbit here. Very, very soon we will be out of the atmosphere. Let's get rid of these fairings. There they go. And under is just a bunch of life support stuff. Uh, so we have uh, life support waste and a life support can up here so that Jeb doesn't die 
uh, in the middle of this mission, that would be very, very, basically a bad thing. <laughs> uh, and we have landing gear for actually landing on the moon. So everything from the landing gear up, which is quite hard to see because of the sun right now, uh, will be touching down on the moon. Uh, we have this main lift stage, which should not get us into orbit. We'll see though. Uh, and then this uh, amount of fuel here with a fairly efficient rocket under it will get us to the moon uh, and to our landing site. Okay. And I'm going to tip up just ever so slightly here because we are reaching our apoapsis. I'm going to try to keep my time to apoapsis just about, just about uh, fairly positive. So about three seconds is great. Uh, I'm going to lose this bottom tank very, very soon. So, uh, and the other engine is quite, uh, the, the, the thrust is quite lower. So I plan on doing this mission in two episodes. Uh, the one today will be getting us to the moon, um, and then the second one will be landing and collecting all the science and completing the contract and returning. Uh, so we will get all that done today. Well, I will get all that done today. Uh, and you guys will see it in two episodes because this will be just quite a long time. There we go, keeping my Apple Apps positive there. Time to Apple Apps positive. Uh, I'm actually a little bit higher than I really wanted to be when it comes to uh, altitude right now. Extend some of these solar panels so I get a little bit of sun. So that means my, uh, since my altitude right now is higher than I wanted it to be, it's a uh, means I didn't do a very efficient burn here. Let's just stick prograde now. Bloop, bloop. We are just about there. Let's throttle down the engine just a little bit. Awesome. Nice slow burn to round ourselves out. Now, uh, here's the, the transfer stage will be right here. It's also helped us get into orbit. We lost all of these stages. It's a fairly large amount of money, but not too much uh, by comparison to the 800,000 monies that I have. There goes the camera shift. Cool. Now we can f finally show off the rocket. Nice slow burn, bringing up our periaps height there. Now, uh, everything from the LV-909, which I'm using to land up, will land on the surface. Uh, Jeb will use his uh, RCS jetpack thing to get him to the surface and back up to the pod. Uh, there's no ladders. I don't think I own ladders yet, and I would have added them on, but eh. if I don't own them, I'm not going to try. Uh, <laughs> so we are now in orbit. We have a periaps and apoaps high enough. I'm just going to do a little bit. There we go. Just to guarantee our height. Uh, and our goal is the moon on the, uh, I guess, the retrograde side of the moon, I guess. Uh, so the trailing edge of the moon, we'll see that whenever we intersect. So I'm going to add a maneuver to get to the moon. We're gonna have to wait about an orbit to get to that point. Bloop, awesome. And that's actually a really decent burn right there. So we'll get to that point. Doo -doo -doo. And jump to there. All these stages were destroyed, so about, what, 7,500? That was the main lifter, I think? No, it was one of the side stages, maybe. No, it was main lift. Um, we have uh, a rocket, a rocket on the side, rocket on the side, and rocket on the side. So we lost just about uh, 50 grand. Actually, a little bit less than that. Quite a little bit less than that. <laughs> 25 grand or something like that. Uh, because we didn't recover our stages, which is okay. Definitely okay. Uh, for what I planned on doing. We're going to move ourselves into a... Uh, so we can align ourselves out with the node here that I had set up. I'm gonna try. I've actually planned this mission so that majority of the uh, the burns and actually majority of everything we do is in the sun. Uh, I want to land in the sun. I want to do everything I possibly can in the light for two reasons. I didn't bring any batteries because they're heavy, uh, and number two, it's better for YouTube. Uh, I think you guys can see better that way. And jumping up to our burn time here. I think it's about 50 seconds I'll start burning. 53 is fine. Yeah, that's great, actually. 
just keep myself on the node. Uh, best time to burn, by the way, if you guys don't know how to plan out your uh, nodes, just as the moon comes over the horizon, you want to burn uh, prograde uh, on your orbit. And as you can tell, there's the moon, and we're burning relatively prograde. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a tip there, if you guys don't know what you're doing. Uh, another thing is to choose a position on your orbit to set a node for that's just about 45 degrees, uh, sorry, about 90 degrees, just about 80 degrees, I guess, uh, away from the moon's orbit there. So you'll intersect and it will pick you up. So we're going to complete this burnout. Sorry, I keep jumping between stuff. Let's complete this burn. We have about 34 seconds left on it. And our engine, our transfer engine, or interstage engine here, I guess, or... Yeah, whatever. Uh, has <laughs> about uh, a minute and a half's worth of fuel left for... So we'll have about a minute and 10 seconds left of fuel, or of burn time on this main engine here. Uh, we have approximately a minute and a half on this amount of fuel here, and then about a minute and 16 seconds on the top set, uh, which is basically our return ticket home. Whenever we get to this point, I usually just destroy uh, my node, and I do this all by hand in the map view. Keep on burning prograde until I see an intersect, uh, and then I just mess with the throttle until I get a decent number, which is, that's okay. Might be a little bit too low, but we'll adjust when we get there. So we are planning for a seven kilometer intersect here, uh, which probably isn't very good for us, but we're gonna make adjustments whenever we get closer uh, so that we can land in a very specific spot. Okay, and we're back here. Uh, our final part for this uh, episode here, we're gonna try to get ourselves in a, uh, uh, basically a trajectory to reach our objective here, which is this set right there. So what I'm gonna do is actually move my orbit uh, now, or my trajectory now, before we get there. Um, I'm going to just burn relatively, oh, oh, there we go. I'm gonna to try to change ourselves so we're going a little bit lower than we already are. That's a decent spot there. And it only costs 10 meters per second of fuel. So I'll do that. Uh, the further away you burn, uh, the more efficient your burns are when it comes to these little corrections like this, or, or basically moving uh, your your plane here. There we go. That's a decent spot. Uh, and then we're going to plan a maneuver just right around the periaps here, it looks like, um, that we will bring down our orbit. Uh, as the moon rotates, uh, we are also, so does our landing site. So we're going to try to get ourself fairly set up. Uh, we'll have to make adjustments eventually. Uh, as, as we approach the target there. But we are already planned to be very, very shallow at this point. We're already going to be at five kilometers. So we're basically just going to be skimming along uh, as we go. Um, basically right along the ground, and then we'll just do more or less a suicide burn to land in the hole there. So let's plan that route. Okay. Get ourselves to the node. Uh, get ourselves to the point. Let's get ourselves to the point first. Here comes the moon. Cool. Let's take a look at our markers here. As you can tell, it's a little bit off now since the moon rotated slightly. So we're just gonna pop that up again and maintain our altitude relatively, I think. Ooh. This is what I wanted to do. There we go. And we'll put it right about there. And we'll make final adjustments when we approach the landing site. For now, though, we're going to do this burn in about four minutes. Follow this node. Ooh, don't look into the sun. Don't look into the sun. As you can tell, we're getting really, really close to the ground, uh, and we're going to do a burn really, really close to the ground in the retrograde direction, which most of the time means you're landing, uh, but for me, means that I'm going to be missing mountains, hopefully. I'm not really sure what the highest mountain is on the moon, 
Uh, that looks kind of low there. Not really sure how well this is going to go. <laughs> oh boy. Skimming the surface here. Oh man. Okay. About that. Little bit worried here. Okay. Doing the burn now. Maybe. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little bit scared right now. Just a little bit scared right now for these guys. Uh, I'm actually ascending. Okay, good, 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 good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Awesome. Woo! Okay. So that is our current trajectory to land. Basically right in it. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, I want to see you guys for the landing, the data acquisition, um, and then uh, I guess I'll explain the contract in the next episode too. So uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.